What's up YouTube, you know who it is, it's your boy Mims and I'm coming at you guys with a Call of Duty Black Ops commentary and you know, if you guys like Call of Duty Black Ops just let me know as I immediately die showing how long it's been since I've been away from the game. This gameplay is about three weeks old, you know, I don't play Black Ops so often. I try to play Modern Warfare 3 to get you guys Modern Warfare 3 gameplays, but you know, when you're good at something, you always like going back to it, and Black Ops is just so much fun for me, and, uh, so why not just upload my good games here, you know, for my uh, subscribers. If you guys don't like it, let me know. But, um... What I'm talking about today is definitely how uh, UCLA has a sick recruiting class. And I'm pretty stoked because uh, a little bit about me, uh, personal info, is I'm trying to transfer to UCLA and I'm hoping to get in. So it's a school I really want to get uh, go to. So if they're doing well in college basketball and they're becoming relevant again, then that's just freaking awesome. You know, why not get, uh, be stoked for that? As I come back in here, it's like a jungle up in here. Whoa, 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 calm down, calm down, relax. Mims is going to kill you, he's going to get a kill streak, he's going to watch your entire team, and that's going to be that. But who remembers the good old days when you would play Nuketown 24-7 and all those funky playlists uh, Black Ops uh, made for you? So I also want to talk about today uh, Black Ops 2 Wishlist. So here's uh, here it goes, it's not going to be as... Uh, like organized as my 2k wish list but I'm just gonna make a wish list for all the games that uh, I play so for one I want the most important to me at least is the return of the blackbird and the same kill streak system the kill streak system in black ops was fine you know and I'm really not a fan of support kill streaks you know because support kill streaks just say uh, just say well support kill streaks are fine if it's gonna be like UAV or stuff that helps your team, you know, but not stuff that hurts the other team drastically. For example, I don't want to see a freaking recon drone <laughs> going and tagging everything in sight. It's the most cheesy thing I've ever seen in my life playing Call of Duty. I don't want to see stealth bombers or juggernaut recons or any of the uh, that kind of stuff for a support kill streak. Maybe it could be an assault kill streak with um, less. Uh, what's it called with less kills to acquire it I like the point streak system I say you should bring it in it encourages playing the objective which is pretty awesome and I really think kill confirmed is a cool game mode that you should bring to black ops 2 but for as far as support nah specialist I like a lot but the uh, the whole concept of an MOAB I'm not a huge fan of you know like the ammo, uh, actually, like, it depends on how you acquired. Uh, I, I can see the side of why people would want MOABs. Personally, you could tell from my commentaries, I'm not a big MOAB type of guy, big MOAB fan. But, you know, if you, got, uh, if you guys think they're cool, let me, uh, then that's fine. Include them, I guess. But <clears throat> another thing I really think is important is keep the same gameplay style, except lower the damage a little bit you know the whole damage situation in black ops wasn't the best you know it would take a ton of hit markers to kill people and that was just not a lot of fun it's not a big deal to me personally but the community makes a huge different uh... huge deal out of it so why not zombies definitely needs to come back it was a very popular thing and a very important thing to me one of the most important things to me is to be sure the Blackbird returns. The Blackbird was by far the coolest kill streak we've ever gotten in a Call of Duty game. It was the reason why many of us were not upset about Ghost that badly or that much. You know, the Blackbird was just an awesome kill streak. Once you got it, you know, it was just so much fun. Just going, you knew where they were. And they were like, it was just, I just found it fun. I don't know about you guys. So, uh, that's my, uh, that's my thought of the Blackbird. The gunship and dogs were a cool idea. I loved both uh, the fact that, I just loved both of them because the gunship, the one thing I didn't like about the gunship was the glitch on ground war. But besides that, it was pretty cool, you know, like, the gunship, uh, it was good. You had a nice choice between it. I loved how kill streaks did not stack on each other, and let me tell you why. Hold up, hold up before you guys say no. It's easier in Modern Warfare 3. When kill streaks do not stack on each other, it requires all the good players 
or most of the players to run spy plane run blackbird run things that help out the team you know like you cannot get your uh, it's very very difficult to get your dogs without having a little bit help when you're at seven once you hit seven like for me personally i think of getting dogs as a seven kill streak because you get a seven kill streak you have a blackbird all right you don't need a trip you don't need to worry about that ghost guy camping in the corner uh, that could kill you within any second from now you don't have to worry about stuff like that so the one uh, so the thing about uh, that's one of the reasons I really like the kill streak system in black ops and um, I don't know modern warfare uh, before I like modern warfare 3's modern warfare 2's whatever but after playing it and seeing how it works and everything I'm just not a big fan of it anymore so if you guys can see it from my point of view, that uh, then that's cool. If not, then let, let me know in the comments why you disagree with me. Um, I think personally uh, the weapons was great. The Call of Duty Elite feature was awesome. Just Modern Warfare 2, 3 didn't use it in the best way. I kind of feel like scammed uh, in a way because the way it worked was Elite content would drop and then you'd have to wait for the map packs to actually play it in Ground War and such. You could only play in an elite playlist, and I didn't think that was worth 50 bucks at all, to be honest. So that's personal criticism for me. New, um, I know for a fact it's going to be a new Call of Duty. There's going to be a new kill streak. Uh, there's going to be new kill streaks, and there probably will even be a new kill streak system. I wouldn't be surprised if they copied the kill streak 3.0 system. I wouldn't be so upset as long as they know support should be used for like UAVs only. You know, UAVs maybe counter UAVs but EMPs no EMPs are de a definite no for support um like juggernaut recons are a definite no escort airdrops eh, I, don't, I don't really agree with that much but the thing about support is it's supposed to be very very weak and it's the, that this way good players won't have any motivation whatsoever for using support so that's what uh, that's personally what I think about multiplayer. I think the attachments and everything for Black Ops were fine. The only main complaint I had was um, in Black Ops was the hit detection maybe, but Modern Warfare 3 has the same problem with that. Um, anyways, one last note: please, 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 dear God. Do not uh, make sure lag compensation doesn't happen again, and make sure the map you don't use the same map philosophy that Modern Warfare 3 did, because a lot of us just hated the fact that kill streak some kill streaks were rendered useless on maps like Bootleg and maps like um hold on maps like Bootleg maybe yeah maps like Interchange which that huge ramp I don't know like. Some maps just made it impossible to use kill streaks, and uh, especially maps like Bootleg, it was just impossible. Arcaden, like, just go back to the old maps where it was fought in outdoors. That way, whenever someone gets a kill streak, they actually feel like they accomplished something. Whenever I got a kill streak, I was like, uh, in Modern Warfare 3, I was like, yeah, you know, then I'd open up my. Predator missile or my AC-130 or something, and then I just see that everyone was indoors or they're wearing blind eye or something. So, anyways, that's my Call of Duty wish list. Thumb this video up to send it to a tweet to David Vonderhaar. If you like this video, thumb it up anyways. It's your boy Mim signing out and peace.